Now for mayor of Chicago. Doom, doom, doom. Hey yo, look, the uh the prize fight. We got yeah. we got a bunch of motherfuckers. Um I'm gonna go ahead and run them down in order of not order. Fuck Paul Vallis. <laughs> yeah. Fuck Lori Paul. Fuck Lori Lightfoot. I think that deserves a pause as well, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck Tree Gar- Fuck Tree Garcia. Pause. Uh, uh, you, you're not fucking with Chewy. No, I'm not fucking with Chewy. No, no, no. Fuck Chewy. Um, uh, those are all the fuck you candidates. Um, no, thank you. Go home, Sophie King. Was it Sophia? I'm not sure. Roderick Sawyer. Willie Wilson. Thank you, but go home. You have uh, nothing of substance to offer here. You're not you're not you're not considering uh, Dr. Willie Wilson for your uh, for your vote. No, I'm not at all, at all. You got to be able to do more than give away money. I don't I don't think I don't look at that as a positive in my elected city officials. The but ability about, to, the ability to piss away money. Yeah, that's not that's not a strong but suit. Not, but but he is providing money to those who need. No, he's not. No, and he's not. other supplies. No, 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 he's not. No, he's not. He's telling you that on the corner of 87th and Loomis, <laughs> I'm going to put $700 under a turkey and <laughs> y'all bust that shit down best y'all can. Oh, shit. School funding. All right. So on 69th and Honorary, it's going to be a box of iPads. <laughs> it's going to be a box of number two pencils. And yeah, y'all do what y'all can with them. I mean, appreciate you, Willie, for giving out the mask. Appreciate you, Willie, for giving out the money that you do. That's nice. I never got any of it, but I appreciate the efforts. I'm not finna stand in those lines for fifty dollars. Just, just not finna happen. Gas or grocery, but it has to be more stringent requirements for a person to be mayor of the. What are we? The we we're the third or the fourth now. I don't know where we stand because we'd be slipping for a little bit. Yeah, I think y'all. Well, there's been a lot of people leaving, so but y'all probably still top five. We still top five, okay? So, in one of the top five cities of the most powerful country in the world, mm-hmm. I don't need to be at the helm of. I don't. I don't. All you tout is that you were a businessman, and that is all well and good. But you do know that city government is not a business, or maybe you don't. Either way, no thank you. Sophia, Roderick, you, neither of you have any fresh or new ideas. Anything that I, I like that you say on stage is the agreement with what someone else on stage said. <laughs> that's it. That's all. And the only, only other contributions are... Um, I think retired police should be police again. That's the dumbest shit. And nothing else of any substance mm-hmm. I can point to. Which leads us to the candidates of actual consideration. We have Brandon Johnson. Who is our city comptroller currently. We have Jamal, Jamal, because it, it, for some reason, I don't, for some reason, we want he want up he want to pronounce his name in the most uppity way name possible. Jamal. My that fucking name is Jamal, Yana, and that went, name is Denzel. I'm not calling him Denzel. I'm not calling him. Hey, you look. I'm not calling that motherfucker Denzel. I'm not calling that bitch Rihanna, and I'm not calling his ass Jamal. <laughs> Jamal. Community activist. And why we had a dialogue name is Dylan. Like a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. And we have mm-hmm. when we have Cam. Community drunken driver. Um <laughs> all three candidates have their own particular set of things that I don't particularly like like about them. Um Brandon Johnson is just the the fact that I just think he's gonna be I hate to I hate to assume things about people before they give me 
evidence of it, but I don't think he's going to stand strong <laughs> at all. You I just don't. Feel, I don't. You, you, you can feel it happening. I feel a fold in him. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You just called the nigga politically impotent. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. He needs some hymns or some or some blue chew. Um some Viagra, if you will. Um uh, Cam, I mean the 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 hesitancy writes itself. You are on you are on body cam. Cam drunkenly. I mean, is what it is. You had a whole job there. It's hard to look past that. But you got some good policy ideas. And I like what you I like what you say about TIF funds. I like what you say about policing. I like what you say about the education system. I really do. Also like what Jamal said. Excuse me. Says about the education system. I also like what he says about policing. So I'm really torn between two individuals that I think have zero chance of winning. <laughs> but we here and you but, policeman. Policing. You gotta say what he said about police. Who? J Maul. <laughs> what did he say about policing that you want me to you point out? You hear what that nigga said about our incumbent and, and policing? Says she likes uh policing so much when he wins, he'll hire her as a cop. Oh. Hey. That immediately made me say we need to mention this young man. I'm like, hey. he's going about this all wrong. Hey. <laughs> but, hey, I like the vigor. I like the vigor. I like the ideas. I like what he I like what he talks about. Um, he good old-fashioned. Good old-fashioned. Put these fucking pro, – put, put hands-on programs back in the schools. That's the only way – you're going to get these kids up a street is to occupy their time with something else. Something else you that need. trying to put shop, wood shop, uh, cooking. He's trying to well, put all of it, the... It's, it's a couple of them that's trying to do that. And, 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 that, and that's cool. I like that. But I, it, it would be unfair to say that he's the only one that has that same... I don't listen to none of these niggas. He just caught oh, my attention... Mm -hmm by saying he was going to hire Lori Lightfoot as a cop, and that made me do some due diligence after that. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, he got that. He got the community. He got the community, the community centers. He got the, uh, he has, he has the, the youth job plan um, that he touts. So he has some things that I like. Cam has some things that I like also. Um, so if I were, if you were to be listening to me on this abbreviated, because it's 1233 right now, uh, on this abbreviated, uh, political packet of information i would say investor time looking into the candidates jamal green and i said it because fuck it uh and cam buckner and hey look just forgive the 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 uneasiness about it because there's an une uneasiness really about all nine of these individuals there is something that is wrong with each and Every single one of them. Paul Vallis has been fired from everything he's done. And he's done a horrible job at everything. He's left everything worse than when he got there. Paul Vallis is a fucking idiot. Hey, do y'all remember when that nigga ran the teacher's board? He ran Chicago Public Schools and to the ground. I remember him. Vallis. I've never vividly. heard a motherfucker's name on Channel 9 more, I think. I think we did a toll of whose name was ever mentioned on Channel 9, just in random news stories more, it got to be a tie between Paul Vallis and Jim Edgar. Them two motherfuckers had a run. They did. They did. God the motherfuckers was on the news. Only person that I know more in, my, in, in politics besides Paul Vallis and Jim Edgar, Junior? Jesse White. Jesse oh, White. Oh, I thought you were say Junior. Jesse White Junior. Oh, no, 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 no. Jesse White. Is he junior? I mean Jesse Jackson Jr. Jesse Jackson Jr. Yeah, no. Jesse Jackson oh, Jr. No. Jesse White. Jesse White. All right, I'll give you Jesse White. Jesse White is up there and uh Captain Captain Cashew. What the fuck is his name? Just got out of jail. Blagojevich. I know he got out. Oh yeah, he did get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did get out. He did get out. Yeah, nigga. 
You don't remember that motherfucker came out with the pistachio commercial, nigga? The yeah. day out, the day he got out of jail, he dropped a fucking pistachio commercial. Hey. This is how I eat them. And I mean, mocking the fact that he had just defrauded the whole state of Illinois. He definitely didn't, though. He just attempted to defraud it. Attempt, defrauding, and got caught. Same difference. Mm -hmm. Um, I see some questions on here that I didn't know were up here, but uh, it was asked, why would retired police come back? And yes, why would retired police come back? Unless they were otherwise incentivized to come back. So you would have to overpay them. No. Beyond, yeah, you would. No, no. This is the one thing that we need to stop fucking mix. There will always be a Sergeant Bilko. The pay, nothing. You will always get, as a matter of fact, if you lower the pay, you may get better cops. There will always, it's always going to be one of them righteous, ready niggas, ready to suit up and protect, serve and protect. So we need to stop hiding behind that wage disparity shit, because the more we pay the motherfuckers, the more they seem to be I don't think work. I don't think anybody was hiding behind the wage disparity shit. They do. I was just, no, I don't think, I don't even know if they, I mean, my, motherfuckers Talk try that shit. I mean, you can try it all you want. The police budget increased. We don't it's need never to. De we it's never de it's, but, but what I'm saying is it's never decreased. So I don't even allow the room for the argument to fester that, hey, well, if you pay them more. No, because they never got paid less. They always been paid handsomely for their job. They, they do. I'm postulating that you could pay them less and, and the ethic of the people who will step up will be more aligned to the people that we want. Yeah, we're going to have a few, a couple crazies that, but I think more you want more altruism. You I don't, want motherfuckers not doing I don't, it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know why motherfuckers who, who, who are altruistic would do it, who would, would be more inclined to do it for less money. The same reason they joined the army. Some people just want to have guns. And, yeah, and but, yeah, but around. they're going to join anyway when the pay is higher. I would think they would join faster if the pay was higher. Well, if I'm you lower the pay, I don't think you're going to incentivize them to come. I, I don't think what I'm postulating is you won't have a lack of applicants if you lower the pay. There will always be that group of people who want to be the police, even if it was free. Hey, look, maybe. Also, I don't think the police should be paid less. I'm not. I don't get me to be on here to saying that the police should get paid less, but they get paid, what, 80, 90 grand a year? I don't know what they get paid, but I know I don't think... uh uh <laughs> I don't think the pay is is the is the problem. Nobody said that. They but always I'm, say that. <laughs> they they do, I guess. I don't know. Um, some of them do, and that's why I said fuck you to those individuals. Um, actually, I didn't say fuck you to all of them. Willie Wilson, I think, is on that type of time. Um, and I just can't bring myself to say fuck you to Willie Wilson. <laughs> you give away too much free gas and groceries. Hey, look, I've never got none of it, but I just want to sit in the corner somewhere and go to sleep. Take a nap. Just take a nap. Just take a nap. That's it. That's all. Feel hey, like I'm March. Ben Crump. I had an off opinion of him at first, but he stuck it out. <laughs> yeah, but I've been I've been with Willie for a long time, and now I'm just not with Willie because Willie ain't had no actual plan. And it was cool to back Willie when he was running against like the Preckwinkles and the Lightfoots. Plan. His plan was always to give out twenties. His plan was just I'm a better human being than these I'm motherfuckers. But uh, uh, it, that and Look. I'm a better human being than these motherfuckers. And he was right. But now you're in the field with uh, other individuals who people by that I mean me <laughs> would deem are decent human beings. In spite of their shortcomings, drunk driving and um, ambulance chasing. I always back Preckwinkle. So, teacher boy, Preckwinkle. Yeah, no, nah, fuck. Y'all was talking to Lori Lightfoot shit. No, I was never talking to Lori Lightfoot. Uh, fuck Tony Preckwinkle. I was all, I was always on Willie Wilson's uh, uh, team. I was <laughs> team Preckwinkle. I was a staunch <laughs> Willie Wilson supporter. I'm always when I'm he always was against them. Up. Yeah, your motherfucking <laughs> ass said because Preckwinkle was talking about raising the taxes and shit. 
She would have had them mm. school system in order, nigga. No, she would not have. She would have had property taxes all f- even fucked up, more fucked up than what they are right now. And the school system would still be fucked up because they don't do needs-based funding, which Jamal Green is a proponent of, which is what stu- what schools need, needs-based funding. Not just because you a school, you get X dollars, because all the schools going to get X dollars, and the schools that need the money don't get the money. Say I'm gonna pay your monkey ass when I feel like it. That part, but, but hey, look, that's why you, you got to look at the candidates for your own and 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 and, and judge them accordingly. But I'll, I'll 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 post on the page tomorrow some um some some links to 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 the individual candidates' informations and uh their own pages, and you could judge for yourself. But if I were to have if I were to have any influence on you individual people. I would say look at Cam Buckner, look at Jamal Green, and cast your vote for one of those two individuals, regardless of what you think the split is going to be. And if you put pitting black people against black people, I've heard all of the people say that there's gonna be all the black people in there, they split the black vote. Hey, maybe. It is what it is. Vote for the person who you think can do the job the best. Don't vote for the person who you think is gonna get the most votes. Because you're going to get a shitty mayor and then you're going to be stuck with a shitty mayor for a very long time. If the mayor that you want ends up losing, so be it. Stay engaged. Act. Start a petition. You know that you can recall a mayor of a major metropolitan city? You have that power. So if the wrong one gets in after the split African-American vote, and say, for instance, we get a Paul Vallis. Vote that motherfucker to a recall and get him to fuck on up out of here. We can do that. But by no means should you vote for the individual that you think will win because you think that they will win. Then we'll be stuck with that individual for the duration of their term and our city will be worse for it. That's all I got.